Hello, my name's Chris Fowler and I'm the Director of Creativity and Innovation for Warwick Music Group. Warwick Music Group is a UK based company and essentially we're an innovations company. What do we do? We do two things. We imagine and create and manufacture brass instruments made out of plastics. Why? Because they're light, they're almost unbreakable and they're very easy to get on with when you first start your journey as a brass player. So it's about taking away some of the barriers to engagement that traditional metal brass instruments bring with them. So there's that side of the business. The other side of the business is that we are a publisher of brass music. In fact, the publishing arm of the business predates the instrument building arm of the business. And we have many, many 1500 titles of dedicated brass uh, compositions and arrangements, including many titles for children and many methods of brass learning, but also some very serious composition uh, for and about brass playing. So two arms to our business. And increasingly, we, we make, they're meeting in the middle. We're, we're creating materials, resources for teachers and for learners, for parents and for children to be able to engage with brass playing, bringing together the wealth of material we have as a, as a publisher and the wealth of knowledge and innovation that our instruments bring to the brass learning. When it comes to hands-on education involvement, America's been really important for us. We've learned so much by coming and working with fabulous educators here in the USA. We've worked with the Chicago School District, we've worked with the Philadelphia School District, we've worked with Little Kids Rock, we've worked with the NAM Foundation, and it's a joy to see the amount of uh, energy and the quality of music education work in America and there's been an, an enormous number of takeaways for us from that experience. Equally, we're very deeply embedded, of course, into the education patterns in the UK and members of our team have been leading trainers and thought provokers in terms of how to engage with learning brass in whole class scenarios, 30 pupils at once, right down to embedding the language of music into individual lesson learning. So we've got a big breadth of experience, knowledge and joy and passion for music education and making music on brass instruments. We made this film uh, during a festival in, in the UK um, that I'd like to share with you because really it encapsulates our feelings about music, it encapsulates our feelings about playing a brass instrument. Uh, Jig's words encapsulate that but the surrounding imagery really demonstrates what we want people to feel about playing a brass instrument. So um, I'll leave this to Jigs. Uh, for years I, I believed this, I know it's true, music changes people's lives radically, positively. Hugh Rashley uh, decided uh, to make a plastic trombone. Why not? Just as a project. You messed with it for a while and got it right, and all of a sudden it caught on, and here we are. It's called P-Bone, and it's uh, the largest selling trombone ever. Something around between 150 and 200,000 pieces of this have been sold worldwide. First of all, it's good. I mean, it plays like a trombone. It's also very inexpensive. You could buy it for what you play for a regular brass trombone. You can buy 30 of these. All different colors, pink, Black, blue, yellow, red, all that stuff. Uh, orange? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I've seen the people, the ladies from the kitchen coming out and dancing and singing, pure joy. I wish everybody in the entire world could have seen this performance. I wish they'd been on international television. Just this one event, because what we need in the world right now is a lot more joy and a positive attitude, a positive energy, which these people are exemplifying. Wherever they play, they're jumping around, having a great time. The people listen to it are having a great time too. It changes their lives. Music is right next to love. It's, it's, it's right there. There's very, very, very little room for uh, 
negative energy in music is all positive. It's a part of love. Studies made on young people who play music uh, that the, they're more brilliant in school, the grades are better, higher marks, everything is more positive. When people are hearing music, a, a, a large part of their brain is active. Music lights up. Playing music, the entire brain lights up. So what does that tell you? Because it makes the, the brain active, therefore they don't fall apart, they keep working. And wow, what a win-win what a situation. And if we had more of that, life would be a whole lot better. So what do we believe in? Well, of course we believe in music. We believe in the power of music, the transformational power of music. Because we've experienced it ourselves in our own lives. And for some of us, our children are now experiencing it in their lives. Um, and I don't think there's been a time when there's been more music in the world for people to enjoy. You know, my, my daughter, who's uh, in her late teens, she's not a performing musician, but her world is wrapped around music. Music's everywhere, it's ubiquitously available, and it's democratically available. And we want brass playing to be as equally available to those who wish to engage with it. And what we want to say to the world is, hey, listen, brass playing's easy, right? It's the most natural thing in the world to play a brass instrument. So that's what we believe in. More opportunity, more fun on that first experience, and hopefully more authentic progress as soon as possible by taking away barriers. So why this presentation? Well, I could just be here talking to you about our products and our margins and all that business stuff but in reality, why we're here is because we've got a problem, right? We've got a problem in the world, but a massive pandemic. How are we going to get the next generation of brass players engaged? They've been stuck at home. They've been doing homeschooling. Ensembles have been cancelled. Recruitment drives have been cancelled. People aren't able to afford to support their instrument rentals. In fact, there's a danger of almost two years of brass players been left out. Now that's not going to happen, right? Because we know how passionate, energetic and inspirational the music education world is, especially in America. So certainly recruitment will happen. What we're saying is we think we can help. We think we can help with recruitment and we think we can help identify, enthuse and really engage with this generation of brass players who have been suffering COVID in terms of their usual school progression. What can we do to help? Well, the first thing we need to know to be able to help is what your needs are. So your needs are central to us understanding how we can help. However, of course there are our mouthpieces and instruments. You may not be aware, but we make a good range of trumpet and trombone mouthpieces in plastic that are very affordable, covering most of the popular sizes. We also make cornet mouthpieces and the special mouthpiece for P-Buzz and p Mini, which is really designed as the easiest way to start buzzing. And we can supply these mouthpieces separately in large numbers to help support your programme. Next, of course, are our instruments. You'll be aware from our video of trombones and trumpets, P-bone and P-trumpet. We also have P-cornet, which is a British-style cornet, slightly more affordable than the P-trumpet. We have the high-tech trumpet, which is a more advanced instrument, combining metal and plastic. But underneath these lines are our two pre-instrument learners, the P-Buzz and P-Bugle. The P-Buzz is a lower brass starter and just uses one partial and six notes by changing its length. The P-Bugle, as it suggests, is a valveless trumpet for exploring harmonics or partials as your first step into trumpet playing. Both these products are good value for money, 
really tough and really easy to clean. Over the years, we've supplied advice and mentoring to many individual teachers, schools and organisations using our wealth of experience about delivering brass learning in all environments. Sometimes this relationship can develop further into a formal partnership and we have education ambassadors who help enrich and support all our users all around the world. Over the years, we've amassed a large number of resources and materials. These are both aimed at pupils and parents and at teachers. And we've also supplied and delivered development sessions for teachers in America, mainly around the areas of informal learning, but also around how to get children involved in playing modern contemporary music on brass instruments, particularly where rhythms and keys are challenging and a more oral-led learning pattern is needed. All these things we've provided at no cost. So last but not least, these are difficult times and it's easy to be isolated. Even if you're surrounded by teachers who aren't teaching music, quite often we're in this on our own. So don't be alone. Be in touch. Let's build a community helping each other to do the best we can for our pupils in these difficult times.